See these little holes in this rock? There were bubbles thrown out of a volcano. And see those layers of rock up there in the hills? Well, they were laid down a long time ago, and then the Earth thrust them up. See, it's all part of the Earth's crust. That's where we live. It's thin. It's a crust. It's cool. Look out! Bill by the science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. T minus seven seconds. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill by the science guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy, brought to you by Molten Lava. It's hot, it's rock, but it doesn't roll. DZ, you're like, you're addicted to volcanoes. Well, I am. They're, they're one of my favorite things. I'm a geologist, and my specialty is volcanology. But up there is that, that really sharp white layer. What, what's that? That's a layer of pumice. We know that that layer was laid down about 450 years ago. That's like brand new. For a geologist, it's like brand new. It formed uh, when pressure built up under, under Mount St. Helens. Lava came up through the crust at Mount St. Helens, made its way to the surface. Eventually, there was a tremendous explosion driven mainly by the gas inside the, the lava. As that lava was thrown up into the air, it cooled very quickly and it made pumice. You've probably seen pumice, very, very lightweight, frothy rock. It forms when, when fluid lava chills very quickly in the Earth's atmosphere. It's thrown up, it chills, it comes down and accumulates as layers. Like shaving cream kind of like shaving cream with all the bubbles in it. Those bubbles once contained volcanic gases. And that layer was laid down there about 450 years ago. And all the dark rocks above it are younger than that. So let me just get this in perspective. The United States, the whole country, is a little over 200 years old, right? That's right. So this thing erupted 450 years ago, and that white layer was laid down. And then it erupted a little over 10 years ago. Yes, and it actually erupted in between. And you can see it right up there. There's steam just rising off the rock. That's right. You're looking up at the lava dome, and by volcanology standards, it's a, a young, active, kind of juvenile volcano, and it's, it's going to erupt again. We don't know exactly when, but it will. So we see all the snow on the ground. That's just very, very temporary thing compared to a few hundred years between volcano eruptions, right? Oh, oh yeah, no question. Uh, so the, don't let the snow fool you. No, there's, there's, there's volcanic heat under our feet, and not, not very far under our feet. There are thousands of earthquakes in the world every day. So sooner or later, you may be caught in one. Now, if you are, don't panic. No, just remain calm. Think. Get under a table. Stand in a strong doorway. So things that are falling don't hit you. And we wait for the earthquake to finish. Wait for it to finish. Okay, enough with the shaking camera thing. When the earthquake's over. Make sure everything's okay. Then get out your earthquake kit. Here's what you'll need. You want a first aid kit in case somebody's been injured? And then some other stuff, like a flashlight. Maybe some extra batteries. And then some food items. And then a radio. This is very important so you can find out if something's happened in your neighborhood. Then also, you're always going to want to have some water. After something like this, there's nothing like a nice cool sip of water. And then you can make sure there are no aftershocks. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm fine, really. Sure, no. I've never been more relaxed. Right. Did you know that the inside of the Earth is different than the outside? And do you know how we know that? Because of volcanoes. Just like this one. Well, well not just like this one. Like this one. 